Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going the 555 grid method. And so this was really popular on TikTok like last year. And basically you're going to choose five items from five different categories, put them on a grid, and then see all the permutations of outfits that you can create. In one column, you'll put all of your tops and then you'll do your bottoms, dresses, accessories, and footwear. Filling out this exercise, I did add things that I already had in my closet, but of course I also added a few things that I want to add to my closet so that it keeps things fun and fresh. Currently going through like a wardrobe refresh where I really want to find new and exciting pieces. I think that I've had a very classic and timeless kind of style for a few years now. I feel very bold for occasions like vacations, but in my day-to-day -day, it does tend to be very classic, very like sporty and rich kind of vibe. kind of want to meld the two and just be a little bit more fun and flirty with my style. This exercise, I just use Canva Pro. I am a big fan of just screenshotting things and putting them in Canva and making a mood board. And so if Canva ever wants to work with me, that would be amazing. So in the first column, we have tops. And so we'll start with a classic white tee. And then we're going to move on to a gray sweater. I believe that gray sweaters are the top. Like, I think that like this is the outfit already and so same thing with jackets honestly these columns you could really could have just put all jackets in the tops column and that would have been the outfit like there's nothing cooler to me than like wearing like a tank top or a classic white tee underneath like a jacket that's zipped all the way up or that's like buttoned all the way up and like that's your top like i think that's so chic the purpose of this video we just went with traditional tops and so i went with this like, cute little sweater from frankie's bikinis did a navy turtleneck i'm a big fan of turtlenecks i think that i went through many eras of wearing only turtlenecks and so I'm back in that rut and so this season is going to be all about navy. Everything that's shared in this video will also be found in the links below. And of course I need like a going out top but again I'm still in that rut of being very like classic with my style so I just picked like this like sheer one that's like off the shoulder and then of course the classic button up. Bottoms it's super easy I just picked like a gray businessy skirt, cute like light denim barrel jeans for something casual, the white skirt from Uncle Studios, the silk skirt from Aritzia, and these Levi's bootcut jeans. For dresses, everything is a little bit more dressy, but that's just my style. Like if I'm gonna dress up, I like to go all the way. And so there's like a cute long sleeved mini. Then we've got the classic ballet dress from Mir Palais. This gorgeous little sheer brown dress that I think is like so gorgeous, really for like a birthday dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna plan on wearing it for, but again, I'm just like a big buy an occasion wear dress girl so this little yellow one has like an open back i do think that there's like a longer version but the mini just makes more sense for me and then this cute little retro fet dress that i've mentioned before accessories we have like the earrings that i wear all the time the sunglasses i wear all the time and then my saint laurent duffel i don't really wear it it's more so to fit all my bikinis um that's where i store everything but i want to start using it i feel like i've had it for a few years now and it doesn't really get to see outside so i'm gonna reincorporate it going into like the next few seasons and on my wish list is like this bottega purse and these rings i really like that it's mostly silver i really like the spinelli rings but i like them to be more silver and if possible more chrome i really like the silhouette and, and for shoes i'm actually starting over i'm a big asics girl i think for everything i've gone to in the last year i wore asics i love them they're so comfy and i think that i need to get out of that rut and i need to buy heeled shoes so i need to resog heeled sandals like these from ysl i have a few manolos already so i'm good there and for boots i got rid of all the boots that i had because i was kind of just buying things that fit my calves they tend to be a little bit more athletic and so it's harder to find I'm looking to invest in a few boots these next couple seasons this creates my five by five grid i think it can be really easy to look at your closet and say i have nothing to wear when things no longer fit you or they no longer fit like the person that you are in this moment and so i think that that's a lot of what i'm experiencing everything is just so classic and it's no longer making like a statement and i kind of do want to be more expressive with my style coming into the next few seasons and so one of the things that i really want to evoke when i'm getting dressed is like sophistication and elegance and i think that it's cute to wear sneakers with dresses but sometimes a sandal will really take it to the next level and this is something that i have always done in my life like i've always worn a sandal like a cute little heeled sandal with a skirt and a dress and it doesn't matter where i'm going but you know in the last few years just the way that things have changed i just got really comfortable being super casual and like that's 
you gotta change it up. It's an outfit that I would normally put together, something very classic and understated, and I like it. I think that I still should have staples like this. Also keeping the fun. So I always think that like my favorite thing to include in an outfit is a colored top, and so layering like these cute little sparkly dresses with something a little bit more traditional is like a fun juxtaposition all style really is it's just interesting shapes interesting silhouettes and juxtaposing unexpected elements in a way that is very cohesive and another classic outfit i don't currently have a top that's like this but i do plan on restocking and however the rest of the outfit i have definitely worn in some iteration or another like i'm a big maggie jeans and manolo's girl like that is like my go-to everyday kind of like dressier style when i'm not trying to wear like an asic everywhere and then i like this exercise because you can see how easy it would be to play with silhouettes so for example would you think of wearing a maxi white skirt with a mini dress before in other seasons no but i really love the way that people have been doing it recently and i think that if you have two separate pieces that you can just combine to create the desired effect you don't necessarily need to buy anything new and it's not like i'm going to want to wear color block all the time i'm actually more of like a monochrome girly and if you're wearing like a very big silhouette i do think that a pointed heel really brings things together i think that this is a fun combination of something i would normally wear which is like the collar top but pair it with like a right a flat riding boot for years i was a big fan of like heeled platform boots and like that has its moment but i think i'm past it right now like i am still very much in my cozy era but a flat riding boot very easy to walk in super comfy i definitely need to recreate this i'm going to link the original creator in my description box but yeah i think that they go into depth with like their own wardrobe and i think it would be fun to recreate this with like outfits for vacation i know that people do something similar and Honestly, if I hadn't seen all of these elements like on the page together, it would be harder to synthesize the ideas. So it can seem like a very obvious practice, like just put everything on your bed, but sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you want to take your time to like play with things. I'm not so much of like the trying things on kind of girly. I just, I just, I don't know. It gets so hot filming those kinds of videos. So I'd rather not, but we'll see. Like I said in other videos, this is more so like an idea starter so never think that like i'm trying to just push links or i'm trying to push a product to you it's just more like these mood board videos are more so like an exercise for me to see like what's going to be cool for me and what works what i'm resonating with and that helps guide my shopping practices but i'm not somebody that's like going to go out and buy everything all at once i'm going to be very intentional with it but yeah if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week